Hello, everybody, and welcome to another attempt at the dime. But before we start, I am very proud to show off this. I really should have recorded this. This is off camera. Very first attempt at a real money sit and go, and I win. I turned three dollars and thirty cents into twenty-two dollars and eighty cents. I am sorry about some of the, well, particularly number fourteen. <laughs> uh, names are not quite what I wanted to see, but <laughs> but uh, I'm just really really happy that I finally actually <laughs> got a pretty pretty decent chunk of a win. And that is a pretty decent chunk of a win because all of the uh, earlier tournament losses that I've been recording over and over and over again, that made up for all of them. My bankroll's right back to where it started. So even though it seemed like I just kept recording myself losing time and time and time again, one really good day and you're right back on the horse. So let's see if that continues with a dime. I remember the dime is different from the other tournaments. It's a whole bunch of flights that eventually connect into a day two featuring everybody. The goal for day one is to survive 18 10 minute levels. What well, is a terrible hand? Mellow 15, United States. Slump Dew, Canada. Le Morgan, Russia. Skirpy, United States. From this point forward, this is going to be the only tournament that I actually record from the very first hand. Because it's only going to be three hours of gameplay. If I'm lucky. And boy was I lucky in that sit and go, let me tell you. I mean, I needed skill to polish it off. Because you always need skill to polish it off. But... I was such a card rack in that game, I swear. <laughs> I won every single race. The only all-in that I lost was when I got it in with, like, a pair of kings and a seven kicker against a pair of kings and a queen kicker. Where, like, I knew I was probably behind, but I went for it anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that that that's that's how easy it is to septuple your investment. Just beat eighteen other people in poker. I do deserve a little bit of credit because after after losing that huge pot that I just talked about, I, I had only 21,000 chips left and the blinds were 3,500, 7,000. So I only had three big blinds and I came back to win it. But it certainly helps when you're a card rack. Oh, wait, everybody's back to the starting stack. Wow. It's kind of a big raise. Of course, the first two thirds. What is going on here? The first two thirds of the dime here is late reg. You really thought Ace Jack was worth your entire stack this early on, huh? I I disagree that Ace King is even worth it at this point, but Ace Jack? I got enough. Sure, we are five-handed right now, but 
No. No, no, no. Donk bay here. This will give me a good idea where I stand. Cool. That wasn't really a type, the type of hand that I wanted to, you know, call down the way anyway. So I'll take the pot now. So now we're four-handed, so I really have to open up, open up my game here. Would I usually raise with two queen here? No. But because... The overwhelming majority of people want to show up late. You know, I'm just kind of stuck here. For the time being. I got a pair of twos. I'd rather have ace three of spades than a pair of twos here, but... You know, I at least have something. Palapa D, Russia. Welcome. Okay, now I'm happy with my two. I'm still gonna keep the lid on it for now. Alright, I was, I was gonna check, I was gonna keep check calling, but yeah, I think it's safe to bet now. Ace queen. You know, just in case Lamorgan also had a two and had a higher kicker. Just in case. I like to avoid big confrontations early in tournaments. Especially because if I don't do at least marginally well, then I won't really be able to publish this video and and show off the fact that I that I want to sit and go. I feel like I'm getting some respect early here. Which is always nice. Now these guys don't know that I just want to sit and go, and even then, I don't think they would that, that would nudge their opinion of me up up very much. I think I've played with Scurpy before. The other guys, no. Go! That's not good enough for me. Against two other people. Even in a limp pot, there's a very good chance somebody just got a random 10x. Maybe I win. Ah. Or maybe I should have bet. <laughs> oh, well. Like I'm really going to be crying over a pot of... 
Well, I'm off to a good start, so I can afford to, uh... Play a little bit passive, even though we're still five-handed here. The fact that I'm... The fact that I'm... Likely to get into a hand with Scurpy is a bit of a concern. Because we're five-handed, and Scurpy's right next to me. Three X. I have certainly a hand that we call a min raise. You could call two point five X. Three X might be a little bit too much for this. Some people look at the situation and think, "Well, I'm getting great odds." I think of it as King Eight. Against three people, I'm not going to win this hand. Now I have a pair of eights with the king of hearts, but I wouldn't want to see that much action. Oh, I would have hit the nut flush. Oh, heck me. <laughs> oh, those guys are really cycling through the avatars. That's a min raise now. Uh, I'll still fold it though. Sayuni from Belgium, welcome. I'm glad I folded. <laughs> that's that's excessive. Actually, let's not completely discount the idea of playing this hand. I'm on the button. Now we're six-handed. Just from that alone, I probably should have folded. Got a pair and backdoor straight. Funny fair play, South Africa. Welcome. I'm not going to donate anymore. That was a really stupid call, anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm barely out of bed, anyway. This is a bit more understandable. It's, at least it's connected. Nice. Okay. Want to establish the boundaries a little bit here. I can check now. Check. Okay. Oh, you, you wanted me to bet the, the Turner River, huh? Yeah. 
He did nothing wrong in that hand. I would have called the pair of fours and a king kicker there, too. I probably would have bet the river, though, <laughs> after, the, after the turn check didn't work. This guy from Canada is either playing five games at once or is the most indecisive human on planet Earth. Except he's an alien, so that's not even right. A nauseous alien. I'm not a human either. Actually, most of these characters aren't human. Yoda's not human. Minnie is a mouse. Rocket Raccoon is a raccoon. Another alien here. No avatar at all for this guy. Builds a Belgian. I don't think we can call Grinch human. Ooh, two pair versus two pair. Oh, I have Johnny's hand. I'll fold it, though. Let me cycle through some of these. That's not a human. That's a human. Not not human. Uh, debatable. Human. 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 Not 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 human. So there's a few of them out there. Of course, calling the Donald or King Jong-un human is debatable as well, but I'll save that discussion for another time. Because this is YouTube, not Twitter. Hello! Hello. So we're going to use his tactics against him here. Oh, that's a pot-sized bet. Keep him coming. Don't like that card very much. I'm not going anywhere with a straight. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, good. I was trapping, but... After that run out, like, ugh. And he had ace nine, too, so... Amazingly, between us, we had nine cards from a pinochle deck. I have completely forgotten how to play pinochle. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't involve a flop or a turn or a river. But I know that the only cards in play are 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Would you stop multi-tabling, please? I 
I'd better leave a multi table for fake money, let alone real money. Of course, I've already found out how how, how much good the sit out button is, so that's fair. Here come three bits. My first three bit of the tournament. Just call. Hi. If I'm not up against Ace King or Pocket Tens. Let's see, we've got. Oh, okay. Just no jack. Let's go. Chip leader. Levap Richa, Russia, welcome. I thought it might be Russia or Ukraine. Is it safe to say those two countries do not see eye to eye at the moment? However, um, as an American, I have a lot of trouble differentiating their, their languages. Oh, and Skirpy is still number two, so. That's good enough. I have somebody to compare me with. For the honor of being chip leader. I'm not even going to try to say that name, but they're from Kazakhstan. Welcome. Hundred eighty big blinds. Well, I'm already at the point where my main goal is just don't do anything stupid. This is not a PKO. There's no incentive for me to do anything reckless. Oh, hi. Is this a new table, or is it just... They don't... They've been reordered slightly, and we now have Halcyon Days 09 from the United States at this table. That's a pretty small raise, but my hand sucks. <laughs> I'll just fold it. Yeah, we here at the number quell do not endorse going wild with a chip lead just because you can. Oh. 
two gloves out there. Okay. Still isn't a new table. It is now because there's 17 players left instead of 16. So we need a third table. Fox 7 AK from Brasud. Welcome. Well, that flop is just total freaking air. I'm going to bet it anyway. But if he comes along, I'm going to stop. Okay. It's Subo, United States. Welcome. I'm tempted to re-raise here just because I have an ace. But I'll wait for... I don't really know how this guy plays, and he seems pretty aggressive, so I might want to hit the brakes for a little while here. Let's see how this three bit works. He's <laughs> still in it. I want to see his hand. Like what did he just call what did he just raise call free flop with? How likely is it that I can actually three bet him and make him fold? Don't really want to three bet the other big stack light. I'm hoping this just clears everybody everybody out. Well, that's a 445 chip donation. So we're not going to try and BS my way to this one. I have a gut shot now, but I'm not paying 487 for that. I might not be chip leader anymore. Scooper might have taken it from me. 
No, I'm still I'm still there, but Okay, let's be wrong. I took it away from me. <laughs> I, I should not have done that. But at least I didn't compound my mistake with another. On the plus side, maybe I can do that again with a big hand and it'll encourage them to actually stick with me. Oh. I had a pretty hand. Him at the ham with me. I'll, I'll fold this one. Okay. Of course, Fox is still here because he never folds. Which means that this is a stupid idea. Dude, fold once in a while. I just hope I get lucky. Oh, I did get lucky. Yay! Six four. Well, Fox is gone, so I can actually raise and maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying this much for six four or four six, I guess. You're good. You're good. That's not the most egregious all in I've ever seen, too. For a three bet, that that, that was okay. Whee! How many ace queens have we been dealt? They've been good to me so far. If Scurpy comes in, I'm not going to re-raise. Oh, Scurpy just re-raised. Okay, well, now what? It's still too strong to fold, I think. That's an excellent flop for me. I probably could have donked at it. Should have donked at it. Yeah. 
or down to two tables now, temporarily. Okay. So, Wolfman, United States, Lou Morgan, Russia. We already saw them. Etsubal, Russia, or uh, United States. I should have bet the flop, honestly. That was not not the best turn card in the deck for me by any means. Overall, though, I'm pretty pleased by the way things have gone. I mean, obviously, I'm in first place. I think you can call Freddy Krueger human. Holy smokes, what just happened here? Palapa D now with a straight. Wait, what? Oh, Wolfman on the side pod. And I'm going to be generous and call Mr. Basketball Man a human as well. So we do have a couple of humans at this table. Although, Freddy Krueger is also debatable. I think we can agree that the basketball guy is, is a human. X. It goes fold, fold. I'm going to push them all in. If they want to come in, then I'm <laughs> in trouble. Okay, good. I can make this simple. Let's make it, I don't know, 4,500. Dominated. No extra outs, just no eight. That's all. Nice. Look at me go. <laughs> 19,500 points. Now I really just have to just not do anything stupid. Okay, well, Wolfman is back. He decided to rebuy. In this... I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really don't understand why they let you rebuy in this one because there's so many flights. Literally, there's one opening up every two hours. I don't think there should be rebuys.
In fact, the late reg for this one ends the same time the next one starts. That's that's one way to look at it. Like that that's how close in time they are to each other. I don't have to be chip leader forever. I just have to sit around this stack for the next uh, four or five levels and then get involved. Because I have... The last time I played this, I stuck around to watch, you know, what it'll look like at the end. And there will actually be people with about this many chips near the end. Don't be on the short end of it, but, you know. I know that I'm that I'm in the driver's seat for sure. And I really don't have to do anything silly for a while. I can just keep letting the game come to me. Not to scare you guys, by the way, but you know how I talk about how much of a card rack I was at um, at that sit and go. What you're seeing in this tournament is not as lucky as I was in that one. <laughs> Castor Alexis Brasud, welcome. Really, that one where I had the pair of kings that was out kicked was the only time I wasn't lucky. Oh, wow. Huge, huge pot. Two pair versus two pair. Scurpy now down to well under the average. And the guy to my left has almost as many chips as I do. Wait, I'm in second now? How'd that happen? Go oh, slumped you. Just won a gigantic pot at the other table. There's not really a whole lot I can do about that. What matters is that I have way more than the chip average. Like, well over twice the average. As long as you're well over twice the average, then you, you're, you're good. You can... Just chill out and let the game come to you. Even Dovileo has taken a bit of a dive. Mm. This isn't exactly letting the game come to me. <coughs> Crap. Voice. If 
I want to get at least a little bit involved while I have this much of a stack. Ooh, that's too much. All right. <laughs> oh, now W. Leo is doing really well again. Knocked out that guy from Kazakhstan, I assume. I was going to remark how there's only three people over 10,000, but they're all over 18,000. Please, please three bet. Oh man, I don't want to play this, but I feel like I almost have to. But really small, I'll stick, around, I'll stick around with the gut shot. Well, like half pot or more, and I'm out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Didn't have to show that. See, now I'm going to be all confusing and fold this to balance my range, more or less. There's a borderline spot, and sometimes I'll play them, sometimes I won't. It's all about just how I feel about the situation. Which is really difficult to communicate to you. Basically, it's just the gut feeling. <laughs> it's not the most logical way to play. But I do not subscribe to Game Theory Optimal or GTO for short. That's not the way I play poker. It's never been the way I play poker. I think it is vastly overrated. You know, stepping outside the lines, it might blow up in your face, but it also might get you some pots that you wouldn't nor normally win. Okay. Again, I'm a little... I don't have quite enough to pursue this any further. Well, that was a good flop for me, too. But with Palapa actually having me covered by a couple hundred, that was a huge no-no. Gulp. Oh my god, if he puts in 4,600 just to fold. Oh no! Bet the minimum. Psych him out. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Nut flush draw and Broadway draw. Hit hit the Broadway. Well, now I have a very good reason to tighten up. Yeah, let's play tight now. <laughs> I only <laughs> had twice the chip average, and I'm still dealing with somebody with way more than me on my left. So let's not <laughs> let's not do more than I have to. Good news is. A break's about to happen, as well as more blinds. Whoa. 
Wolfman's already on his third bullet. I'm not even gonna play this. Or suited, maybe. Okay. Good start, though. Very good start. Okay. I should have addressed this a little bit earlier, but in case you don't know why there's no uh, money up for grabs, because this is day one. You don't make the money at all until you make it to day two. And you're... Pretty close to making the money by default if you can make it to day two. But no money will be handed down this on this opening flight. Sometimes you really do make the money by default on day two of the dime. Sometimes you gotta knock out a, a few... I don't know, like, there usually be, like, 1,300, 1,400 people on day two or something like that, and you'll have to knock out another 20 or 30. Something like that. You know, Palapa, I don't think anybody would complain if you just hit the sit-out button <laughs> and left the rest of us alone for a while. We're we're kind of buzzing through the this field. Only thirteen left out of twenty three who've showed up so far, and Wolfman here is in for three bullets. Suni apparently has given up after two bullets, which I think is probably wise. Because sometimes when the robots decide that it's not your day, then it's not your day. It's an under the gun race from the chip leader, and I have three five. No, thank you. Even though it's even though it's a min raise, no thank you. It would be kind of silly to play a pot against the only guy who has me covered when I have three five off suit. And again, that's a UTG raise. Just saying. That should mean something to you. If I may pull up Dr. Livesey, the words under the gun raise and death should mean the same to you. Oh, but not for Wolfman. Finally, getting a leg up on the field. Now, pull up a D. Everything he did there made sense. Played his draw aggressively when he missed it. He Hope that Wolfman would just retreat, but nope, he got he had trips. He was playing him for a fool the whole time. Pocket nines one.
got my ace and a nine kicker, so admittedly this is not great. Oh no, no. Five hundred, not five thousand. Good thing I noticed that. Okay, well not worse than that that can happen is I lose another nineteen hundred. A lot of draws came through, but you might just be bluffing. Uh, if your recipe does happen to have a straight or a flash, I'm drawing dead. But let's see what you got. Oh, oh. That made sense. Pair with the up and down straight draw. Okay, so I'm not gonna run quite as insanely good as I did in the in the sit and go. I am the last guy in the world that can complain about a river like that. That was bound to happen to me at some point. I mean, my raw chance to win all of the hands that I won, well, all, all my all-ins that I won in in the uh, sit-and-go could not have been more than 2%. And when I say all-ins, I don't just mean the ones where I was all-in, I mean the ones where I had another player all-in as well. But, like, I had so many of those, and I only lost one. Loosh. That's what I call a comeback. Well, now I only have about 140% the chip average. Old House Japan. Welcome. A lot of humans in Japan, but not a lot of them are into poker for some reason. I don't know if it, don't know if it like cramps their style as far as like honor and politeness. I actually got something here.
I pretty much missed, but... Thank you. More weird cards. This time I'm small blind and the really big stack is big blind. Would not mind if Coster just goes all in here and makes my decision a little easier. Oh. That's a big raise. I was going to th 3 bet, but I'll just call. And now I can get out. Or this is a mistake. I feel like it's probably a mistake. I do have a, a double gutter now, at the very least. Queen or an eight? Okay, good. I just I'm just glad I won the hand. And another good hand. Let's call this time. Could have rebased, but I feel like I'm getting a little too predictable. Ooh, interesting. One of these guys probably has an ace. I'm not I'm not gonna fold the one bet. But I'm gonna wanna improve. But there's a lot of cards on the turn that can improve me. A spade, a ten, a jack, or of course a king or queen. That works. Alright, that's the big stack, so we don't want to go too crazy here. Just call and then see what he does on the river. That's a very safe card. Alright, that's a check. That's a green light for me. 940. Back to 100 big blinds. Nice stretch of hands, I'd say. I fold even with Palapa D. I hate pocket nines, but I feel like I'm obligated to play them just because they're objectively a good hand. But I never win with them. Can't just fold them to one bet, but like, what chance do I have to improve? Not very good. You know, let's forget it. Forget it. I shouldn't fold them to one bet, but I can only improve if there's a nine on the turn of the river. I have nothing else. And I'm up against two people, which means one of them probably has a jack or a king. Yeah, I would have lost. There's no way I'm pushing him off a king high flush draw on the flop either. It's another classic tale of pocket nines being complete losers. I shouldn't have even... I couldn't have even played them to begin with. 
They're just that bad. Oh, there's a hint I should have played, apparently. Jack two of hearts. Easy fold. You know, as good as I may or may not be running, pocket nines are still losers. We'll show this one for a laugh. <laughs> or at least a chuckle. And I hope my recent um my recent good play is enough to show all you people that like to that or might might want to uh ultra late rides to the point where you're starting with only fifteen big blinds. Look what you're missing out on. You start from the very first hand, you could be missing out on a lot of this. America's Carter, unless you were late, Reg, way too late. I will never budge from that. That is completely ridiculous how late they let you late, Reg. Yes. I'm going over to Spectrum, the store itself. You changed those bills. Hold on a second. So what it had to pair here probably wouldn't have even been good though. Let's see. Oh no, it would not. And Palapa D all of a sudden falling way down. I'm willing to get away from top pair there. The diamonds, of course, kept him in it. But I feel like once it once it fell down to. <laughs> Only being a pair of kings, it could have gotten away from it in the end there. It's a gut shot. It's not even that good of a gut shot. Because ten of diamonds, and there's a diamond out there. Plus, ace-jack still beats me. So, I'll call a small bet. I'll call a no bet, that's for sure. Yeah, you can have this one. I think we've, uh, Levap. Maybe he was just trying to goad Castro into playing, but you didn't have to go all in for that. Hold this. Well, the good news is we've certainly made it long enough that I could post this to YouTube so I can... <laughs> So I could be happy about my uh, my success from yesterday. Can I compound it with success today? We're certainly off to a great start. Actually, this is more than a start now. We're you know delving pretty far in. It's, the starting stack is only thirty big blinds now. Wonder why you only mid and raised the first time. Mm 
Got a gut shot and a snap check. Usually is a green light. Uh, I might be getting old by internet standards, but I'm not colorblind yet. Here's my favorite hand. Which does beat pocket nines half the time. Now, this guy from Japan has not entered a lot of pots, but when he does, he enters it with a pretty big raise. Oh. Well, that's reasonable, actually. King. I'm going to go for the check shove here. Oh. Attempt number two. Check shove. There we go. Or, just make more thousand. It was taking that long. He definitely does not have a king. All right. I'll show it. Favorite hand. Love you, King 10. It's not a PKO. So I'm okay with just taking the pot down. Look at my stack, though. Whee! Why oh, see the average again? Wow. I should not raise this because there is just nothing out there. There's no draw, no nothing. If I if I bet he's just gonna get out. Now I'm just gonna hope he has a king. Maybe. That's an extremely clean run out. Cool. I will not show this time. That's a board that would theoretically hit me a lot more than it would hit him. He just called. I raised. So I could easily have an ace. Now I can fold. 23.5k. There haven't even been that many nervous moments for me so far. Like, this is amazing. Oh. How the mighty have fallen. Good lay down, Serbia. Welcome.
I might play this if it folds to me. Okay, no. Is very committed with that raise. Case, nah. Well, and looks like Palapa D does not run to rebuy, which I can agree with. He's got to be disappointed, though. I can feel his disappointment through my screen from a continent or two away. Because. All I know is that he's from Russia. He could be from the Europe side of Russia or the Asia side of Russia. Of course, as a geologist, that whole thing is one continent. It's the Eurasia plate. For a geologist, Earth has eight continents. There is North America, South America, Eurasia, Africa, Arabia, India, Australia, and Antarctica. Technically, Africa can be divided into two continents because Africa is in the midst of splitting up on the eastern side. But since that has not happened yet, we can consider Africa one continent. As a, you know, like, de facto, it is one continent. Even though it's made of two different plates. Hmm. I might actually still play. It's a, like, it's just a gut shot, but it's a gut shot with two overs. In other words, the 10 or the ace might be good enough. Whoa, we suddenly have two more people sitting out. What's going on here? On the other hand, I only have ace high right now, and that's a that's the other big stack at my table. I don't need to be putting my chips at risk here. Good thing I have time to think about it. My gut tells me to call, actually. Hopefully, if I call quickly, or just press the call button right now, it'll keep him honest on the river. Maybe I may even bluff the river if I miss. If he checks. If it bets again, then it'll, de it'll determine what... It'll then... I'll only play if I happen to hit. Of course, the other thing is I don't want to see the Ace of Hearts or the Seven of Hearts. But, on the other, other hand, he probably would have already bet if he had a flush draw. Alright, let's see if I can steal this. Yes.
So far, so goo. No need to play this one. I'm winning hands, and a lot of them actually have plenty of meat on the bone, too. Okay, I don't know how to say that, but uh, Russia, welcome. Oh, this is a whole different table. Slumpty was here from Canada. Oh, they were from UK. Oh, Scurpy is back. A first Matus, Russia, welcome. And Jungador from Portugal, welcome. Yeah, I had been updating because the level just changed again. Dang, everyone in the stable has 10k. Oh, Scurpy's not in for their second bullet. I thought they were might have been in for second bullet. Oh. Hurt my wrist somehow. I don't know how. Alright, so because everybody here has over 10,000, I'm not going to be able to just push the table around willy nilly. So we still got to play reasonable. Alright. Check call mode here with a pair of aces. Could be in bet mode now. Nothing too crazy. Cool. Bleep. Really haven't had that many tough decisions. Fold. To me, that's the true measure of how good you're running. How many tough decisions have you had? Because if you're making tough decisions and you're being right, then you're not running good, you're playing good. Of course, then again, that's not necessarily the, the only way to think of that, because the better you get at poker, the less decisions are going to seem all that hard. Because when you get really good at poker, then very few decisions will, will seem all that hardy to you. I still consider myself very much an amateur, but I'm certainly getting better over the last few times I've played in America's Card Room. Like, I now feel like I, I genuinely belong here. My game is good enough to actually beat these guys some, some of the time. And some of the time is all you need. Rain. Excuse me for a second here. Okay, so Sixteen eight eight hundred and sixteen hundred is gonna be the first blind level on day two. So I'm gonna need slightly more than I have right now to really feel all that comfortable. But only slightly more. Let's make it seven twenty. Give me four X.
Okay. Not playing for that much more. Old. Isn't there a s there's a setting to make the sound effects keep playing even when they're not in window? I just realized I th I, I think there's a setting for that. Maybe I should actually have that equipped so that I keep clicking out. It's not as annoying for you guys watching the video. Uh, just because our big blind buddy here is uh, sitting out, I'm going to raise this hand. That's a much smaller raise, so I'm priced in. Let's see if I can make something happen here. Well, that ain't it. If Scorpio happens to have any pocket pair, they're not going anywhere. No, I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm going to lose my chip lead, but... This is going to be a three-way chop. No, two-way chop. That's really wishful thinking. Of course somebody has an ace there. Would have preferred a fold, but I have just enough to play, and I have just enough to dunk it. Just sent to play again, unless somebody wants to three bet, in which case I'm out of here. Let's donk that again. Okay. Ugh. All right. I'm over this. Yeah, flush draws are pretty much worthless when there's two pair on board. Like if I can get to 40, 45,000, then that would be ideal. I would I would want to freeze the game right there. That would be enough to go to day two as not really a force, but I would be able to at least have a chance. Yeah. 
Again, you don't really need a lot of chips to make the money when you get to day two. Usually, it, it there's not much further to go, if anywhere. But I don't want to just min cash, you know. If I can help it, I'd like to actually continue my run a little bit. Wow. I'm not slow playing it. I don't want to see, you know, the board pair or anything. We might be chopping. We might be chopping. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. 35.5K. I'm pretty close to that number. Her nine old Ukraine weapon. Live up reach, I could still hear, and doing very well. Just make sure that's not a second bullet. Nope, he's still in his first bullet. I have the pair and a spade. It's a very small spade, but hopefully that snap call. Oh. All right. I don't want to slow down. Sevens. I'm not gonna have to beat all these guys, am I? Because there's a lot of time left. We just passed the halfway point. There's only 12 players. I might actually have to beat these guys. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm even going to fold here. I just don't need to do anything stupid. Love up Rechuck is second overall, and I've got him well covered. Now I'm kind of looking. Now I'm kind of looking for people to. Super duper late, right? As much as I disdain that. Because if I don't see that, then I'm going to have to run everyone here down. Which puts me under a lot more pressure than I was expecting for, you know, just, just this just being a play in flight. Only 28 people have shown up at all. Now, it might have something to do with just the time of day, you know, starting at 
I was expecting more Russians, but I think only first Metis and Levap Richok. Well, it was Kern 9 now from Ukraine. Similar, similar part of the world. But I'm playing with so many Russian players, I've just gotten so used to them that I was expecting to see a lot of them at this particular time. Oh, wait. <laughs> I mentioned it to be... I'm, wait, no, I didn't mention that at all. Um, The Venom is going on. I think more people are hyping themselves up for the Venom and trying to satellite into that than they are trying to play in, in, in this one. There's one day one flight left. So anybody who has the means to try and satellite into the, the Venom is, gonna, is trying to do that right now. Instead of this. But even trying to satellite into the Venom, it's, you know, the tournaments are like $33. Some of them are even $109. It's a little more than I'm willing to, to risk at this point. So I'm sticking with, you know, what I, what I know how to do. And besides, it will come back around. There will be more Venoms. I can play it at a later time. Seems like a good donk bet spot. Okay. Wow, it worked. I can see why he bet. <laughs> Straight flush draw. Wow. Super duper safe turn. Super duper safe river. <laughs> wow. I finally had one sort of tough decision there in the hand against Levap. I have twice as much as second place. I I would love to just stop it right here and go to day two with this many with this many chips. This would be plenty for me. Whoa. Okay, well, the, the 7600s are the effective stacks. Oh, Sumpty is finally back. And now you have me. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Park cell new from New Zealand. New late rage. Welcome. You have less than twenty big lines. Actually, 
I'm going to go ahead and sit out now because I could use the bathroom for an extended period of time right now. And five minutes is not usually enough for me. So I'll be back. I'll see what happens. But this will be five minutes. I don't have to, I don't have to jeopardize anything. So I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. So it looks like play just resumed from the break. Yeah. Yeah, I need to give myself a lot of time when I use the pack. All right, so we're now on level 11. They're about to start a little 12. Um, oh, Harksel got knocked out, but he's willing to keep coming back. I don't, don't know why. Maybe he's part Phoenix. Hoping this just takes it down. Good. Lol. It's only 15 big blinds. Well, I have 3 9 off suits, so I'm not going to play with you. Oh, wait. The tournament lobby is kind of lying to me here. Well, that was so interesting. Arkansas right, so from New Zealand getting very lucky. I've seen more egregious plays than that. This is not a PKO, so there's no reason to play 10-2 here. We're not close enough to the end yet that... I stand to gain anything by intentionally playing slow. Maybe when we get to like level 14. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wish this was a PKO because I would have stumbled into a heck of a flop there. I'm running even better than I think I am. I would have had them both drawn down the turn. PKO or not, that's a terrible hand. That is the exact same flop. Come on, robots. It's the exact same turn! <laughs> Robots! Longhorn476, United States. Welcome. The board paired on the river, right? It was like a seven. Oh, okay. There's something different. Uh... 
Oh, not a 337. I don't think I've introduced myself to him. United States, welcome. Live up has to be figured with. A oh, wolfman is back. As soon as still on three. Yeah. Thirty-nine total entrance. Last time I played in this, there was what eighty-four, eighty-seven, or something like that. Big raise. I see that slumped you limped in, but that's a big raise. Snap call. Yeah, if I can bust out uh, Longhorn or Nada, that'd be that'd be enough for me. That'd be enough for me to just do virtually nothing for the rest of this for this play in. But I don't have to force it. And now that might knock both of them out. No, he won't. Longhorns got it. Nada played Jack six. Oh no. Okay, good. I I didn't want to see Jack six win that hand. Raise re raise all in, and he goes all in with Jack six. What are you doing? You have no choice. Thank you. I have to be that guy. Yeah. Oh, I like his chances. Yeah, I need an ace, jack, or spade. Nope, he wins. Although I actually did pick up. Actually, wait, no, I didn't. I picked up a small blind, but that's it. I guess I'm the there. <laughs> I, love, I love the excessive mountains of chips that I'm using to play this. Alright, so. Let's not go too crazy, but I am going to bet because I hit. Alright, somebody else is all in. 
Actually, we do have a side pot to fight over. That'll show me the door. Oh, he got it. I thought he might have had a draw. So I'll at least keep my head in the game. Like, love I'm really scared of this guy. Jungle Dollar is back from Portugal. King Ten. Ah. Hark Cell suddenly. I don't fear Hark Cell as much as I do the other, as much as I do Levath. He just, he seems to be way more willing to just pump it in there without really thinking too much. Wait, all in at Tudo is here. I've seen that name in much, much bigger stakes than this. This might be a mistake. But I've seen him limp in under the gun and then not re-raise, so... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking about maybe other players joining in. I have just Jack-10. Hmm. Hmm. Donk bet. But once again, that will show me the door. Because I have nothing. Maybe he was just looking for a safe flop to bet. Maybe he had a big pair, but he just wanted to make sure the flop was safe. Or like ace 10 suited in. Suited in diamonds. I was playing that, you know, pseudo connectors in early position earlier, but I will go ahead and dial it back a bit now. Mostly because John Goddard is ready to go all in, and I'm not calling it with six seven suited. Now those are hand those are hands to go in with. And Levap Richuk is ahead of me now. Just trying to hold out until we get to our final eight. Don't bet. Mods kill sixteen oh four from Poland. Welcome. You're extremely late. Twenty-one. Yep. Something at least.
Need help? All right. Well, um, you want to throw another two dollars and fifty cents into the prize pool for us? Or looks like you don't have that option anymore. UTG rays. I have eight five. Ah. Calc father. I assume got it in at literally the last second. Well, too bad he doesn't have a. Uh... Well, too bad America's card doesn't have an Isaac Newton. Face. At least last time I checked it, they didn't have an Isaac Newton face. Because then Calc Father could mean Calculus Father, which would be Isaac Newton. Once again, it seems like every time I have spades, they turn into a flush. Just don't want to completely heck heck this up because I've got an incredible opportunity right now. It's gonna get awfully congested in this, you know, small flight field. But if I can make it to day two, there'll be so many players out there. I can just get lost among the masses and just Go about my business step by step. And I can know that everybody who is playing, who is still left, at least has some marginal idea of what they're doing. They're not just complete lunatics who are here to just throw around $2.50 willy-nilly. Although, could make the case for all in at Chudo because I've seen that guy around much higher stakes. Maybe he's already made day two of the Venom and he's here to flex or to practice. I don't know. That is a big raise. No. Well, now we see why he raised so much pre flop. He had Ace King. Mm. 
I have just enough to play here. Oh, I'm not in first place anymore, huh? Oh, wow. Like I want a massive pot. I'm done here. I need to hit a six. I've hit I've hit several gut shots already. I I can't possibly hit this one, right? I'm due to <laughs> I'm certainly due to miss some gut shots. I don't need to fight over every pot. And for once, I'm taking my own advice here. I'm in a very good position here. I don't need to just jeopardize myself without a hand. The crux of the issue here is that there's multiple opponents. I have five high. I would love to call you because I don't believe you, but I have five high. I could raise because I don't believe you. But I'm not really willing to take that kind of risk. I don't want them to know that, though. Okay, you know what? Let's see if I can limp in. Let's see what happens this time. Four thousand, that's what's gonna happen. And that's thirty four hundred too much for me. It seems like when he limps he's willing to call any raise. Again? Well, I'm not. Even, I don't even have that good of a hand to, to limp with. All right, this might be okay. I think I'm going to start uh, intentionally taking a few seconds now. Not egregious, but a little bit on every hand. This looks so empty because there's no payout information. Then they slumped you a second short stack. That's not a limp from him this time. He's just big blind. Well, this uh, Riley can't read guy is bound to get knocked out any second now. Well, that read chuck is way down that, the list now. And that's kind of ugly. Although, maybe I could turn that against him. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very much a fake tank there. Now we're on level 14. I'm no longer in a super comfortable spot. Wait, I didn't mean to put a nine on the whatever. Yeah. <sighs> This is not good. Okay, well now I really do have a good hand. Is this how it ends? Well, let's see a flop. God. Now all of a sudden I'm half of what I want. Thank you for being nice. Am I, I finally might have run out of good cards. I 
I don't even know why I tried to bluff. I have no... I have, like... <laughs> no table image right now. This is bound to happen. I just tumbled down the leaderboard. I got caught bluffing one time and all of a sudden my whole world's turning upside down. Why hasn't Riley Can't Re gotten knocked out yet? I, I can only assume that they're AFK and just like accidentally won a hand. We have 30 big blinds. I can't even play this. Even five-handed. Even five-handed, this is just too much of a risk. And I had it all. Oh, man. I'm really scared when he makes a, a small three bet. Because he likes to race big. Now I have a good hand again. Okay. Reinforce the fact that I'm <laughs> generally a pretty solid player. Job. Job. Oh no, he limps. I have just not quite enough to raise this. Maybe I should, but this is a fairly unpredictable dude. Whatever. That card didn't change anything. He wins the hand. He wins. He wins. Okay, now we're down to we're down to eight, obviously. Super hard United States. Our leader from Russia, Alain Etudo Brazil. Right on the flop, maybe it'll work. There we go. Yes. Hello guys. I was the guy who used to be on the top of the leaderboard almost the entire way and now all of a sudden I'm way down here. Alright. Don't hate me too much for all these four or five second tanks.
I don't want to expire my entire 15 second time each time because that would make it way too obvious that I <laughs> that I'm kind of like just playing to make it to day two. Because then the other guys could take advantage of that when they play against me. I am hoping that most of them are, are feeling the same way. Because that is the goal for everybody. This is the first time that uh, Flumped You has taken an extensive siesta. I expect him to do that when he's actually got a few more chips than he has now. Because I, I, I need to win a couple of pots before this is all said and done. I'm not going to be happy unless I can win some hands. At least I finally get to play with All In Etudo. Okay. At least you're acting like they have a few hands and the flop is 4 3 3. You, you can give me better than 2-8 every hand, you know. That's not even as good as 2 8. I mean, it's got more potential than 2 8, but like. It's only a 7 high. I've got a lot of ace queens in this tournament. I don't think I've had any ace kings. I have pocket jacks, I have nines. I, I've, I've, I've done all my damage on the flop. Like, it's it's not like I just being, kept getting dealt huge hands, but. I'm hitting the board really, really well. Which is kind of the opposite of how most of these recorded tournaments have gone for me. But, you know, sometimes the robots are in the mood for one thing, sometimes they're not. I'm not going to play this in. It's a medium ace. It's awkward. I've tried that a few times during this tournament, and the results have been mixed, to say the least. I don't want mixed results. I want something I can actually do something with. I'm not in all in or full mode yet, but I like a better hand than this to, to keep playing. They have stopped giving me good cards. At the worst possible moment. He used to have 43,000. I'm not going to be able to fold my way in. With the blinds being where they are, no. There's still a lot of poker to be played. So for Slump do you say he better get back here soon because he's not going to be able to get into day two with that stack. I'm hoping for a couple of folds here. Here we go. 
not that it has a little bit of potential. I think we are playing pretty tight right now as a team. I might snap fold a couple of hands just to mix it up slightly. Actually, this is worth thinking about me. Like snap fold this. I need to balance my folds as well. <laughs> Wee hey, blinds and antis are actually a pretty decent yeah. increase to my stack right now. So, much as I want to win a sizable pot somewhere down the road, somewhere down the road, I'm okay with just any win right now. They're taking that flop of this king, even though it's all spades. Small pair. Big blind is absent, so hoping this gets through. Not even close. Oh, I better hit trips. Nope. I don't think I flopped trips the whole tournament yet. I flopped flushes, though, so... That certainly makes up for it. No. Wait, no, I flop traps, just not with a pocket pair. I remember having ace nine and a flop from like nine nine four. Boy, Harksel really throws caution to the wind sometimes. Oh, slumped you his back. I think he realizes he cannot fold his way in. I probably would have folded the pair, honestly, if Slum 2 had been back earlier. I will take that.
Uh, I gotta say, this is not the worst dynamic in the world. Nobody is massively far ahead. Oh, hell no. Oh, I don't want this guy to win this big of a pot. Oh no. Man, when the two when the two big stacks go at it like this. Now one of them can bully us. Oh my dog. I had to say that out loud, didn't I? Huh. The blinds, what they are now. Besides, our big blind here is down to eight, uh, like eight big blinds total. So, if I raise, he's gonna be pretty committed. I don't want to have to call with ten with ten eight offsuit. Come on, Harksel. Ace Jack. That's not. A, that's not even a decision. Heart or King to stay alive? No. Harksel takes that W. Normally, I'd be happy about that. I guess I kind of am? I don't know. But, of course, we're not laddering up. There is no money to be made yet. There's only money to be made if we make day two. One double up and I'll be happy. I'm folding if all in is in there. Okay. Yeah, I do not want to play a hand with him. Because I'll need to hit the flop really good to want to keep going because he's got just got so many chips. Or maybe he can be There we go. I want some action here. No! I wanted a bigger pot than that <laughs> with kings.
I'm not limping in with kings. I mean, I don't want to play against four people, but, you know. Against one or two, I was hoping for something. I really wanted to re-raise. That's cool. If I hit, I'll shove. If I miss, I'll pass. I, I missed. I really don't have enough to uh, play fancy poker right now. Tempted to raise. No. no. I gotta play tight. I really do. You had to give me friggin' pocket nines again, didn't you? That I'm happy about. <laughs> I don't want to play with pocket nines. I'll just snap hold this one. Is three five thirty one a pot size raise? I, I assume it is. The love is just blasting in there for big raises. Cardinal. Oh, there's another break. Don't see on the other side of it. Decided to spend the break eating a banana. I kind of have to pee again, but I think I can hold it for 22 minutes. That's how long it takes to make it to day two from here. I'm just glad there's still seven of us. I was worried that by this point there'd only be four or three left, and there's just no. Waiting around. I want to be able to bide my time and hide. Okay. I was going to raise, but he's pretty committed with that, so let's not. I don't think Alin at Chudo in the big blind is going to allow a limp anyway. Or maybe he might. Well, my Jack 9 wouldn't have hit anyway, so. All in her fold slumped. Well, I can't fold now because it's been checked. 
That's a good bet size. I'm rooting for this table to stay at least six-handed for as long as possible. As soon as we get down to five, it's a little too close for comfort, especially with my stack. I assume, yeah, auto all in. King four is not the worst hand to do that with, and he's <laughs> smashed that flop. So Slumpty was gone. All in at Chudo has even more now, and I'm his next target pretty much. No way, not for this. Still too much. I have 10 high, so of course I would say that. So close. Day two of this thing is so close. But I need better than this. All about how well I can change gears. I bluffed off so many of those chips when I had 43k. I put myself in this situation. I gotta find a way to get out of it. Or at least survive long enough to maybe get out of it on day two. An ace. Just fold full play. All right. That's what I was hoping for. Guess I'll be honest about it. Sixes. However, when it's been raised like that, not really something I want to pin my hopes and dreams on. Most maybe I could have played. <laughs> but it just would have been it just would have been a little too hairy for me. Oh, he would have made a flush. Axel had it made a pair. Uh, close. But the big stack is the big blind, so my chance of getting the raise through is pretty small. Well, this uh, Majkel from Poland, this 
Doesn't care too much about... Oh, well, I've got ace-king. Against queens. So, yeah, good thing I folded my 9-8. Well, that's not ideal. Round of five. And I am real short. Four thousand thirteen can't be pot sized. Not pocket nines, anything but pocket nines, dude. And now we're four handed. This guy is going to sweep the entire table. Okay. Small pickup. Again, that at least buys me a little bit of time before I have to do anything like that again. I'm the one they're going to all be gunning for, obviously. Only because they're four-handed. This is normally a fold. Wow, that's a horrendous flop. Alright, if this fails, we're all in her fold. Okay, we're all in her fold. And they immediately deal me a borderline hand because of course they do. Oh, okay. Now I need to double up and then some. I have nowhere to hide. We're four-handed. I gotta, I gotta make something happen. Borderline, but let's, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, I can fold now. <laughs> My heart's pounding. Like I'm so close. We're 13 minutes away from making day to day two of this. But I'm so short. <laughs> and it's all my fault. All those failed bluffs just stacked on top of one another. I played so well and I ran so well to get a big stack in the first place. But then I played really badly to get down to here. You know, it's all fair. Now they give me jack 10. I'll call the regular raise. A 
That's enough for me. I'll take it. Yeah. All right, that's a big pickup. Okay, we're we're getting back in it a little bit. I did make a really good comeback in the uh, the sit and go. Whereas here, I'm not trying to beat these three guys. I'm just trying to survive long enough. All right, I can limp. I don't mind. I flopped, danced around my cards. There we go. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Let's go. Let's go. I'm still the short stack, but I'm sticking in it. All right, last level. We made it to the last level. If I don't get eliminated in 10 minutes, I'm on to day two. For the record, I was actually ready to pull the trigger on with a jack 10 if all in a Chudo decided to go for it for the all-in raise. Oh. Not with this hand. Okay, back to all-in or fold. Hard. It is so hard to stick in this thing. Yeah, I thought he might go for that. Technically, I should. Just with king high, but uh, I want a little bit better than that. That's a good hand. That's what I was hoping for. It makes some move at it. There we go. Good pickup. Good pickup. Don't take yourself out of it. Keep yourself in the game at all times. I'm not I'm not folding this one. Definitely not folding it now. Strange trap. Trap's not working. All right, I'll bet thirty five hundred. Okay. Still a good pickup. Any pickup is a good one now. And I'm I actually I'm actually ahead of Wolfman now. All in Etudo is playing very well. No thank you. No thank you. I think I have enough that I can that I can just kind of squirrel or weasel my way into into day two now. I don't necessarily want to play that way though. Um, I might though, because <laughs> some, something about him raising tells me that this might not be a good idea to play. Because. Super hard is the one who has the the most to lose right now. 
Interesting donk bet. This has rapidly devolved from can I get to 40 or 45,000 into please let me survive the next six minutes. Okay, this is suited. Oops. Sorry, microphone. Cool. Just don't give up. Almost there. I'm so freaking close. Now you can win this one. I've I have complete baloney. I'll play. Oh, whip. Nothing good can come from me betting this. Just let him take it. No. I'm going to let him take it. I'm playing it pretty face up, but I feel like he's trying to trap me here. He's definitely trying to trap me here. I have queen high. And I have another queen high here. Can't fold every hand. I gotta show willingness to play. Or else I'm gonna get run over every time. I would not mind if Super Hard wins this one. Might slow all the Nintendo down a little bit. Maybe. The, uh... Who wants to be a millionaire background music is very much playing through my head right now as we go through this final level of day one. What is it? A pair of sevens? A seven or something. Oh, I'm happy to see that. Disconnected. Never mind. Yeah. He does have a pair of sevens, and the eights were an over pair, and they're also a straight. So that's pretty good for me and my selfish needs. Got an ace. UTG from him, though. I might regret this. I completely regret it. No, 
know. He's gotta have something. He's gotta have like para nines, para jacks, something like that. My turn with a pair. All right. If I can flop a set. I don't I don't flop a set. That's a good flop for fives normally. But I think I'm just going to have to go to day two with 19,300. Oh, definitely now. Barely made it, but I made it to day two. I wish I could have made it with a little bit more. There we go. So that's what happens when you beat day one of the dime. I did not really place first into it. Yeah, I'm going to be a very short stack. The The, uh, the video for day two is probably going to be extremely short. Um, but I'm not just going to, you know, leave the recording on for this one because that's going to be in several days from now. So thank you for watching me finally qualify for day two of the dime. I say finally, but that's like my second try, actually. I'm I'm kind of becoming a bit more of a winning poker player. I still might not make the money because I'm 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 so short, but hopefully I do. As short as that part two will be, I will still put it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, from now on, you won't see me play day one of the dime ever again. Only day two if I make it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on Sunday.